What's going on smart people? Today is my 266th daily physics upload. Over 90% of the time since I've started making these types of videos, I've succeeded in making a video every single day. For certain things like moving to New Mexico and during midterms I took some time off so there was a little bit of a gap there, but for the most part I've made a video every single day for the past 266 days. Now, when the next semester starts, the day that classes starts, that will be my 293rd daily physics upload. On the day of my 293rd daily physics upload, things are going to start to change quite a bit for me because instead of doing at most 10 hours a week of tutoring that I would do via Skype, I will be working at least 20 hours a week doing TA related things. I'm sure there's going to be points in time where I take my work home with me and it'll go north of 20 hours a week. Last semester, I spent close to 20 hours a day at home, either tutoring, studying, doing homework, or making videos. And the most efficient use of my time that still allowed me to make a video every single day was having them be sort of update videos. This is what I learned today. This is what my exam was on. Let me show you the math a little bit. This is different from a daily vlog. Vlog. Last semester's update videos were more of a let me tell you what I did and a daily vlog would be more of a let me take you along with me. And I think that's what next semester would kind of naturally lend itself to. The only thing is not everyone likes vlogs, let alone daily vlogs. But this will make it so the video is already made. By the time I get home, all I have to do is edit rather than nothing get made and then have to make and edit a video when I get home. I don't think there will be enough time for that every single day. I think that a daily vlog is sustainable. I think it's something that I could do every single day. But the next question is, what's more important, consistency in the uploading or variety in the content? Having said that, it could be that every day is different, but I'm not sure. Some days could just seem like the day before that, which I'm a little bit worried about. So this video is really to try to feel the room of the people who watch my videos in the first place. But weekends would still be open. I wouldn't have to go to the university on Saturdays and Sundays, so those could be kind of whatever days. It depends on what's still left to get done before next week. Some weeks it could just be a heavier math video or a skit video, or some weeks it would be something that requires a bit less effort. So I wanted to ask, should I start to consider making videos less frequently so that I can make the things that everyone loves, like the skit videos and the heavier math videos, more frequently? Or is it just that you want something to watch every single day and whenever I can do those skit or heavier math videos is great, but it's not necessary to have them more frequently. I'm going to put up a poll so that I can get your opinion on whether I should do like a daily PhD vlog with something different on the weekends or should I just upload less frequently but increase the frequency of like the funny skit videos and the heavier math videos and things like that. Also, please let me know in the comment section what your opinion is and I'll see you guys there.